as work is yet to start on the Kasset to Adum and Abwase railway line project, almost one year after President Ikufuado cut the sod for the project on the 1st of October 2020, prior to election 2020. The Kumasi Abwase rail project forms part of other standard gauge rail lines being constructed across the country by the new Patriotic Party's administration as part of the election 2016 promise. Now, GH1 News checks on the site where the sod was cut by President Ikufuado and former Minister of Railway Development Joe Gatte saw not a single block laid on site. Ashanti Regional Correspondent Isaac Justice Bidiako has more in the following report. In 2017, President Nana Ikufuado formed a railway development ministry to revive the collapsing railways transport sector across the country. On 1st October 2020, prior to the election 2020, His Excellency the President and the Railway Development Minister, Joe Gatti, cut the sword for construction work to start on the 83.5 km standard gauge railway line from Kumasi to Obwase in the Ashanti region, which forms part of a new Western Line project. The project involves the construction of a 6 km line between Edum and Kasi and estimated to cost $48 million and expected to be completed within 12 months. However, a year after the fanfare sort cutting ceremony in Kumasi, which gave a sentiment another hope for rail transport after the railway sector operation collapsed in the region over a decade ago and saw the attendance of traditional leaders led by Kasi Hene, Nana Mensa Bunsu and other government appointees, nothing has been done on site. Currently, the ground is serving as a garage for excavators withdrawn from the mining site by its owners, while other parts of the site have been converted to a soccer pitch. Former Deputy Ashanti Regional Minister Yamin Joseph believes that President Ekufu Ado only paid lip service to the locals, adding that he misled them by commencing a project prior to the elections without adequate funding and resources. Here we are. Another sword cutting ceremony was done here last year for the construction of a railway line. This is the very site that the commission took place this is where they cut the sword but as you see it has become a dumping ground for excavators but the deputy minister for railways development kweku asante boateng reacting to the assertion attributed the delay to the scarcity of lands to host the project he explains the ministry is struggling to evict the encroacher who has settled on the railway lands People have encroached on the railway line and we, he cannot just start working without demolishing some of the properties. So we are confronted with that situation and that's causing a lot of delays. Currently we gave them uh, some months, about three months to demolish or evacuate from the right of way. But still people are there. However. Former Deputy Ashanti Regional Minister Joseph Yamin believes the excuse given by the ministry is a representation of an unserious government that cuts sword without an action plan. He explains why. That's a lame excuse because the people who have encroached the land know very well that the lands are not for them. So you just get them out of it. But that is not the case. The case is that there was so much pressure on another Ranko Akufuado and his government from Ashanti region that in four years he's done nothing for the people who gave him the highest vote to become president and so he just comes in there to want to deceive them in thinking that he's doing something 